Welcome. This is Jane Gardner of jane-gardner.com and I'd like to welcome you to implement.club where we talk about various subjects. But today I'm going to talk about why being an entrepreneur will change your life. I am Jane Gardner, of course, as I was mentioning, and I have been an entrepreneur for about uh, 20 years with my husband in our home-based business engineering company. And I came out onto the internet about three years ago to talk to other people about being an entrepreneur and helping them implement and find out um, how to be an entrepreneur as well as take action and make a business out of being an entrepreneur. Now, why the being an entrepreneur will change your life? Well, there's good and bad about being an entrepreneur, and I just want to quickly uh, talk about the bad, and then we'll give you the good, as we always end with the good. So the bad about being an entrepreneur is, of course, you're coming out onto the Internet or coming out into the local home business arena and wondering um, what you want to do. Now, you know what you want to do, maybe, but you want to be able to go out and sell. So of course everything is brand new to you. Um, Either you've had experience selling or you haven't and you're um, under a lot of uh, pressure from either your family or yourself to get and be successful quickly and not finding that you are getting it done as quickly as you thought. So you're under a lot of uh, pressure and overwhelm to get uh, the job done to get various things that you need in your business in order to um, be successful, including um, clients, of course, as well as the revenue. Now, the other um, problem, well, we won't call it a problem, we call them issues, with being an entrepreneur is that there is always room for failure. There is always the possibility that whatever idea you have will be a failure. But what the great thing about failure is, and I don't like to use the word, word failure but since you know under un- understand then I will say failure is I call them mistakes and then I learn from those mistakes and I don't do them again and I try something new to get results I think it was um, Richard Branson who said that he had failed many times in his life as an entrepreneur and he will probably keep failing because he will keep trying and whether or not he's successful or not you never know because you can't predict the future so it's always good to be able to be willing to fail and hopefully not fail too badly <laughs> as, and of course you are also there's the pressure of time the hours are long as an entrepreneur uh, they always it always takes longer than you thought to do s- some projects and your family and your friends have to be understanding about why you're not available for them at times in order because you're producing or trying to make sales or trying to create a a product launch or whatever else you're trying to do as an entrepreneur. So you're looking at um, the possibility of long hours, you have possibility of not seeing your family and friends uh, very often, um, obviously occasionally for your family. (laughs) And there's a possibility of failure and there's a possibility of losing money as you start as an entrepreneur. And these kind of things you have to be able to be willing to change your mindset so that you can um, be able to have a failure or be tired or be have long hours. So those are the, the bad things about being an entrepreneur is that um, it will change your life in that way. It's not a job. It's certainly it's a lifestyle. But the good things about being an entrepreneur, of course, is that you have already have the passion for whatever you're doing hopefully which will keep you going and that will always be a good thing for you because passion is always good for you in your mindset and also you will be able to have the freedom to decide when you're going to work and what time you're going to work and also not obviously the hours that you're going to work but just have the freedom to be able to um, do the things that you want to do when you're successful as well as being able to do it from your computer rather than having to commute to a long job etc etc I mean you know all these bad things about not being an entrepreneur and obviously the good things about 
the most important thing about being an entrepreneur that I have found for myself and my husband is being in control of your own life. Uh, we, I don't think either of us could probably work for someone else except as a consultant <laughs> because uh, we're so used to being able to work on our own and uh, do what we want to do. Take the holidays that we want, um, plan what we want, etc, etc. So I hope this gives you a good idea on how being an entrepreneur will change your life. And if you would like to have an idea of how to get started uh, being an entrepreneur, I have a uh, free ebook and audios that you can listen to to awaken your passion and see um, start you thinking about being an entrepreneur. And that would be at uh, jgtips, J-G-T-I-P-S dot C-O-M backslash awaken. And you're welcome to opt in there. And uh, you'll be on my email list where we can talk further, if you like, about becoming an entrepreneur. So thank you very much. I hope I didn't uh, tire you out here. But I just wanted to talk about how being an entrepreneur can change your life for the good and for the bad. But um, certainly I created the implement.club for people who are interested in implementing a bit quicker in their business to make sure they don't uh, get behind in their dreams. And I hope that you will also go and check out implement.club at Jane uh, hyphen Gardner, G-A-R-D-N-E-R dot C-O-M. I'll put that all on an end card on this video. And I hope to uh, talk to you soon. Thank you.